Hello? Yes, what? What? You really want to know? Yes! Fuck you! Hi all, Tony here from Immortality Cryptocurrency. Today we have memes and reasons why you didn't buy Bitcoin. Let's get right into it. Just do it! Oh. End of the war. The, the most popular brewer in Lviv, Pravda Brewing, is no longer filling these bottles with beer, but giving them out empty so people can put gasoline and stuff a dish rag at the top to make a Molotov cocktail. This particular bottle has a rather unflattering picture of Vladimir Putin and an equally unflattering caption, but... That's some good marketing. Putin said that in Ukraine, they, he, the people will meet Russian soldiers with the flowers and preparing the Molotov cocktail. This is the flowers for Putin. This, this one's really crazy. So these are Russian influencers, and they're all defending the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which I guess they have the right to do. But here's the thing, they all appear to be reading from the same script. In the lip injections is going on here? What, they got influencers just spreading scripted propaganda now? I mean, were they paid to say it? Were they forced to say it? I, I, I don't know. And yeah, I know, we've seen similar things in the U.S. from uh, local news stations. It's extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. I'm just saying, be careful trusting influencers. Even me. <laughs> I was sitting at the cafeteria and having coffee and then one guy came up to me and asked whether I was Russian. And I said yes. And he's like, suka. And then he added glory to Ukraine. Common Russian citizens do not support the war against Ukraine and we should not be hated for it. So do the people in Russia really think about the Ukraine crisis? It's our brother's people. We never go to them. Keep up, guys. Strength, patience. И ни во что не верьте, все это фейк, фейк, фейк. И это и Америка создала такое обстоятельство. И наша страна пытается отставить свои позиции. Боюсь, что будет очень все напряжено, mm -hmm. страшно. Но то, что война, ну, это чисто политическая идея. Mm -hmm. Но точно могу сказать, это не с Россией. Я думаю, что это все просто шумиха. see people getting arrested just behind me. Activists have called a protest against the war in Ukraine. Um, a couple hundred people maybe tried to come out, but police have been arresting people left and right. I myself was just arrested and put in that police van back there. Their lieutenant came, checked my documents, let me out in the end. But many, many other people weren't so lucky. I saw at least a dozen people in that police van. They're being taken away. Another woman now being arrested behind me. Police are grabbing pretty much anyone who tries to unfurl a banner, say anything, or even just stand on the across from the square right now. Lots of riot police. Every now and then people start chanting no to war, but they quickly stop when police are begin arresting people again. Stop it! Right now! You bitch! End the war! March 6, Russia has seen their biggest protests yet, but I want to talk about face recognition that the police is using in order to arrest people at their homes after the protests. All across Russia, thousands of people have been already arrested and detained, but this takes it to a new level. If they can't catch you at a protest, they're going to catch you at home. I'm also linking my propaganda video in the description of this box. I urge you to watch that video as well. Hi, hi there, I'm from Russia, currently living in the US, and this song is about him who must not be named. A, B, C, D, E, F, you and your war and your palace and your squad and your plastic surgeon, though this one is not urgent. Fuck you, I'm so mad, will I see my home again? Russia's full 
of shame Stop the war in Ukraine Thank you for your attention This collection represents 35 years of my life. Oh, careful. Our journey begins with this mug. Dave, that's the microphone. Whoa! Immortality Cryptocurrency. Ouch! Immortality Cryptocurrency. Buy it. <laughs>